Hello, this is Kyle. Today I'm going to show you how to use the energy meter to realize zero export uh, function. For the uh, three phase stream water, and this one is uh, the uh, three phase stream water. And as we can see, it has uh, three set of PV input. And this one is the DC switch. This one is the R squared flag used to communicate with the energy meter, and this is the A, the, the red cable. The, the black one is the B. This one is the grid output, output terminal. And uh, this one is the CHMT, three phase smart meter. Here is the diagram of uh, the energy meter, as we can see. One 147 is for the load connection and the 369 is for the grid connection and the 24, 28 is for the RS485 and the 24 is for the A and here, here is the, here's the system diagram as we can see here is the grid input and the output and the output to connect to the inverter AC is the output terminal. And also here is the communication cable to the inverter IS485 terminal and, is, and uh, also here is the, uh, the terminal terminal 3 is connected to the uh, IS485 A and the uh, full, full port is connected to the IS485 B. And uh, let's move to here. This is for the circuit break, it's for the grid input. Three phase. Okay, let's show its voltage. Natural L2, L3. Okay, so phase to phase. And uh, then it come to the energy meter. Here, uh, the coming to the energy meter, and then energy meter from the energy meter comes out two set uh, for uh, size wires. One is one is connected the the inverter AC output, and another is input to the load, the the three phase the three phase load. And also according to the the diagram, three six nine is for the port is for the uh, grid input. Port go to two port one four seven and the ten ten is for the natural. And here is for the input input three three six nine ten yes for the input. We need to make sure the. The sequence is uh, right. Otherwise, the inverter can't realize the export function. And, uh, as we can, let's go here. As we can see, the load power is four point one seven kilowatt. Here is the load power. Okay, let's move to the. The PV power is uh, 2,800 volts. Okay, let's write it in here. Here is the PV. Okay, let's see the meter power. The meter power is negative 1.3 kilowatt. 1.4, 1.37, 1 1.4 kilowatt is the meter. The meter power, it means from the grid. The grid provide uh, 1.4 kilowatt to the to the system to the loader. So also we can calculate this one 1.4 and the plus 2 2.8. This one is 2.8 is equal to 4.1 kilowatt. So the PV generation will firstly to uh, power the load, and the uh, the other uh, energies come from the grid.
also when the uh, when the inverter and when the inverter has a good communication with the meter, it will show the meter power 1.4 kilowatt. This is it should be same with the energy meter LCD. Okay, let's see the. Yes, one point uh, one point three seven kilowatt is the same with the, the meter. Also, it will show the load of power. If there was a load of power, shows load of power is zero. It means the energy meter input and the output cable is reversed. In this situation, you need a reversed connection for the energy meter input cable and output cable. So we can see on the LCD, it shows the PV power is uh, 2,800 and the current PV input voltage is 579.3 volts and uh, the current is 12.1 uh, amps. Here is the grid voltage, A phase, B phase, C phase and the frequency temperature. Here's the meter. Uh, the meter power is uh, negative 1.4 kilowatt. It means uh, uh, the, at this moment the grid is power uh, 1.4 kilowatt to the system to power the load. Okay, let's move to the energy meter. See, here is uh, the current, the B phase current, C phase current, and here's uh, uh, the the power. The total power is from the grid. As we can see, also it's uh, 1.4 kilowatt. It's the same with the um, with the meter value on the LCD. So it means the uh, inverter and uh, the inverter already communicate with the energy meter successfully. Also, here is the load power. Here is the the load power. 0 0.7 kilowatt. This one is the B phase, 0 0.6 kilowatt. And this one is the C phase. The power is coming from the grid. This, uh, the electricity. Here is the power is uh, input from the from the grid. Here is the power export to the grid. Here's the communication speed. Here's the communication address. Here's the voltage. Current for each phase. Also on the inverter, we go to the setup. We need to check uh, the communication address. As we can see, the address is uh, is one, and the the border rate is. Uh, 9600 is the same with the energy meter. Okay, I will show you how to turn on this uh, function. Run parameters and the input to the default password is 1234. Let's go to the meter. Yes, already is on. When you set some meters, make sure you uh, click here and then press the enter button to save the settings. Settings. Okay, now let's turn off the load and let's see what happened. Okay, I already turn off the load. Because I connect the three, uh, there was a three kind of load on the three phase. Here's the, uh, the load, we still have the 1.7 kilowatt. Okay, let's move to the energy meter.
voltage. Uh, for the A phase, it's 0 0.6 amps. The B phase uh, have the same approach, 7.7 approach. The C phase is 0 0.6 amps. Because the B phase and the, the C phase load are already zero. So in this case, the, the inverter uh, stop all the power. It shows uh, zero. Okay, let's turn on the, the load on the B phase and the C phase. So we can see the load power is increased. Okay, let's go to the PV power. Also, the PV power is increased because the energy meter detail detect the load power is increased and send this message to the inverter. So the inverter increased the power to meter the loader. 